Uh, hi. What is, what's, going, what's going on? What's going on? What's, what's happening and stuff? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of um, I'm a little bit late to this though. I mean, there's a lot of like, there's a lot to explain with uh, with this thing that I'm streaming. Because like he like like okay like I was I was gonna do a dis a, a Detroit stream right. And then I was like, oh, like maybe I should do something else as well during the stream because maybe just Detroit isn't a good idea. And I remember that it, recently Sony has been like releasing like emulated versions of of like old uh, like old like PSP and like PS1 games. And it's as part of like it's it's this like subscription service that I have. It's 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 literally it's, it's um it's it's PlayStation Plus, right? It's it's PS Plus. It's like PS, the the you know, it's like the it it's the thing that you use to be able to play games online. But like they changed it so that you can also like get games from it now, right? Um. The thing is, there's like different tiers of it, so it's like you get one tier and it's like just like the online functionality without any of the games. And then you get one that has like PS4 games, and then you get like a more expensive one that has like old games. Like, like remasters of old games and stuff. And for some reason to like, to, 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 to like expand on that, they started releasing PS1 and PSP games, which I initially thought was gonna be a, like a cool thing. Like, it's like, oh, you know, like, PSP, PSP games. Like, I love the PSP. And like, there's more PS1 games being released as well that they weren't releasing before. Uh, but they've kinda... I think the, be the best way of describing it is that they've pulled a Nintendo and they're kind of not releasing too many of them. Very frequently they're releasing like a batch of them every month and it's all like games that no one really is like caring enough about to play. Like I don't know, like I, I mean like okay like it's the ones that I have already right? I'll turn off this music by the way. Uh, but yeah this it's, so it's like okay like you know Ape Escape like you know Oddworld, Ape's Odyssey, Resident Evil like it's it's I Toy, Toy Story 2, I guess, for some reason. Uh, and then Loco Roco Midnight Carnival and Echo Chrome. And it's like, okay, these games, like, they're all fine. They're all decent. They're, um, I actually didn't... Uh, I think the only one out of these I actually bought was Ape Escape, and I had the rest of them already on my PS3. Right? Um, but, like, I bought Ape Escape because I was like, oh, I've never played that game before, I'm gonna play that. Um, but a bunch of the other ones that they've been releasing, it's just, it's just been, like, games that I don't really know of or care enough to play. Like, and, like, they're about to add more as well, which, uh, I, I thought, I thought, like, honestly, like, I was, <laughs> I thought I was gonna stream this, like, when the new ones for this month, like, released, but no, because they're not out yet, I guess. But, like, okay, like, the thing, the thing is with this, is that they've done what like Nintendo did with like Super Nintendo Online or whatever, and they they're just adding games that I, you know, like aren't really like the biggest games ever. But I think it's literally only because the biggest games that people already know about have already been like remastered and ported and stuff. Uh, I don't know. There's there's like a a lot to like go over with this, but I'm basically just disappointed because, like, it's, like, Echo Chrome and Ape Escape and, like, Resident Evil, and then that's pretty much it, right? But, like, odd, but I don't know. I, I feel like I'm repeating myself now. Um, but it's a lot of just, like, less known stuff. Like, I, I guess I could look through the thing. Uh, I, um, it, it's on here, I, I think. Like, I, like, okay, right, like, let's just take a look at this, because it, it's kind of not great. Um, 
It's like, okay, it's it's the classics catalog, you have to like upgrade to that, which I ch um, just to just to be clear, I haven't paid the subscription for any of these. I either bought them or I had them already from like when they were released before because they like have like cross uh I, I wanna I wanna say compatibility, like cross like like if you had it on the PS3 or the PSP originally, then you can just get access to it immediately. Like you like you get it for free. But um I think they didn't wait. I don't know how to look at this, but like, okay, like, no heroes allowed, it's like, I don't know what that game is. Then Echo Shift, which is like, a, a, like a sequel sp spin-off thing to Echo Chrome, it's like, alright, sure. A, a lot of these were like PS2 games that were released before this happened, so I'm kind of ignoring those. And it's like, er like okay, everybody's tennis, like, what? It's like... It's not really much that's good. Like, okay, wait, Salt Lane new, because like this is the stuff that they've actually like added to recently. So it's like it, like Ape Escape, Toy Story 2, Echo Chrome, Kurushi, Jumping Flash, Everybody's Golf. It's like these games are fine. They're like decent. And it's like Siphon Filter and like Attack and Two is good, but like Wild Arms and like what? I, I just, I, I, I don't know. Like, it's not really, like, classic games, and it's really weird that they're even doing this in the first place, because I don't think that anyone was really, like, hoping for, like, like, I don't know, like, a port of Echo Chrome. But we're gonna play it anyway, we're gonna see, like, what, what, what why, why I'm playing this in the first place as well. Uh... So I'll, I'll just go in like order of like how they are here because that that seems like it makes the most sense. And I'm also gonna switch to to uh, this display actually because the game's in four by three. But like okay, you know, like Ape Escape, right? It's PS One emulation, which is is also why I'm like comparing this to Nintendo Online because it's like an emulation thing. It's not like direct ports of the games. It's like okay, immediately they have this menu that's like kind of like it looks like it looks like the PS4 menu, but it's like different. Like it uses a different font, right? But like okay, I don't really mind that so much. I suppose it's fine. It's taking a moment. It's taking a long moment. Oh, there it is. Ooh. This game can only be played with an analog controller. Oh. Oh yeah, well yeah, obviously. Um I've actually also never played this game before, honestly. I'm not really gonna do like a serious like playthrough of this. It's also quite loud. It's very loud. Why is it so loud? I'm not gonna play this seriously at all, I'm just kinda gonna see like, okay, like, this texture jittering, which I suppose was in the original. Uh, it's definitely like a thing that PlayStation games do. It's also like upscaled to HD, which I don't mind so much, like that's fine, but it looks kinda janky. I think they've uh, like raised the frame rate as well, I, I think. So it looks a little bit weird. But I'm also actually not sure because I haven't played the original. It just looks smoother than you would expect a PS1 game to be. And it's like, okay, like, Ape Escape, right? Like, sure. This isn't, like, a horrible choice for, for a game to put on here. Like, this is fine. Uh... Oh, someone's online. Like, okay, you know, uh, load, uh, file one. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, sorry, wait, uh, 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 what? Oh, wait, did I accidentally, wait. Did I, wait. Return. Uh, yeah. No, I selected new game. Oh. 
Oh, I guess it didn't select new game. I thought I did. But it's okay. Like it's very easy to see like the jittery textures, which like I, like before on like the PS3 and stuff, it was still like in its original resolution. I think so. It was less no noticeable, but now it's just in HD, which is kind of weird. Hey, Spike. Do you think the oh dear. His time machine? He said he's almost done. Oh no. Then maybe we could ride it today. Oh god, the brush. If so, I'm running on it first. Hey, that is fair, Spike. Hey, wait up. Oh no. <laughs> Buzz. Is this Professor Spike. Lane? Hello. It sounds like Luke from Professor no, Lane. No, run you two. What? What? Why? No way. He's French. Oh my God, that's Hexter. Oh. Well, this is like too high res. Like why? This looks really strange. And now it's also incredibly loud. Wow. 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 This is loud. I have the audio, like, capped on OBS, but it's still, like, it's still, it still sounds really loud for me. Uh, it's a father, it's a dude, I, I don't really know what's happening. Oh, okay, I got it. Oh, okay. This becomes this, and when it becomes that, this goes like this, therefore that became this. We <laughs> did it, Katie! The time machine is completed. This isn't the time for that! Why is he French? Well, I don't know, like, he has, like, an accent. I'm assuming it's, like, French, or, like... Ah, uh, what is... Spike, can you hear me? Something awful has happened. Well, you have slipped in time with the accident earlier. You will soon oh. arrive in the prehistoric era when dinosaurs existed. God, this is so loud though. It's like insanely loud. If we leave them alone, you know, something like this filter on the screen. So Spike, I don't know if that's like meant to be like that. Luckily, you should have two of my gadget inventions. I'm gonna say that it's fine. Use these to catch as many monkeys as you can. You can catch the monkeys. I don't think there's any subtitles. And uh, if by any chance you're in danger, counterattack using the club. Okay. It will be useful. It Sorry. is a tough job. It's just funny. You can do it. I'm it's like on you. it's like easier to notice like inconsistencies in like the models and everything. Okay. All right. So I'll just I'll play like the first level of this or something. That wireframe looks kind of cool. Like, I don't know, because it, 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 like, for a lot of games, it's like, this can either be a good thing or a bad thing. Like, sometimes it looks pretty decent in HD, and then sometimes it's like... Uh... Uh... Tilt the right stick and swing the stun club in any direction. Beat the enemies by swinging and turning the stun club around. You can also make the monkeys fall down. Press the R1 button to jump, and swing the stun club with the right stick, and jump with the R1 button, good luck. Yeah. Okay, uh, it's all the right stick, uh, what, uh, uh, okay, alright. Yeah. So, wait, oh, yeah. why does, yeah. oh, wait, right, so it's like in the direction that I'm yeah. facing. Or like, the, like it, I tilt it, and that it's like the direction that it goes. No, 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 okay. Makes enough yeah. sense. Makes enough sense. Oh yeah, there's trophy support as well, I forgot about that. Uh, which the gadgets- oh, switch the gadgets you're holding with the buttons. <laughs> switch to the time net and catch the monkeys. Okay, the time net is so yeah, yeah, yeah. I already did that, I already did that. Um... I don't know, I mean, it's, it's new, it's decent, it's decent enough. Um, I'll say, uh, out, out of the games that I got, this is the only one that uh, wasn't well on the done. PS3. And I don't really know why, honestly. It's like, I would say, like, oh, like, analog sticks. Like, it, it only uses the analog sticks, but that only applies to the PSP, which only had one analog stick. It's like, otherwise, like, the PSP and You're the PS3 good. could have totally played this. So I don't really understand why it wasn't on there, but it is on 
the PS4 now, it's like I, I don't even know. I, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm glad that it's on here at least. I, I suppose it's very, it's a pretty neat game. I've heard good things about it. Uh, welcome to the time station. Everything here will help you with your mission. This room is the warp room in front of you. The round switch will take you to the stage select area. Behind you, the red switch will take you to the load save data area. Be sure to read all the mailbox messages and learn from them. This music is pretty good. I've, I've heard like parts of the soundtrack before, but like this is like good music. Like, whoa. Oh, all is the jump button. But R2 is also the jump button. Okay. I said I'd do the first level, that, uh, that part technically didn't count because that was clearly just like a tutorial thing. Yeah. Oh my god, this music is completed. It's really funny. This is a water net that shoots a net underwater. <laughs> it shoots a net. send these over. Tie them out in your training space. If you don't clear the training, you cannot advance to the next I don't know, it's stage. really, it's a really weird accent, because well, it's either, like, French luck. or German. It's, like, between French and German. He's not saying anything. Oh. Right, I did, okay. Let's go. It's really funny hearing, oh, okay. Oh, L1 is there, right, 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 um, The one that appears when you're in the war, so we're using the left stick. Exit the wall by jumping near the surface of the wall. Use the R1 button to jump. Speed up. Uh, press the R1. Okay. The faster you swim, the faster you'll win. <laughs> okay. I love when I just don't even read. Uh, the sign on the left shows how the left and right stick is going to be pushed in like a button to dive down. Okay. I didn't know that I was actually on the PS1. Actually, push the right stick and to dive. Okay. Yeah, I had no idea that that was a thing on the PS1. I thought that was like something that they added in like the PS3, right? Like, uh, I'm assuming this is how it works. So this is a little bit weird. This was like the first game that they developed with um. Wait, oh, oh god, oh, oh, oh. This, I, I don't really understand how the controls work very well. I'll be honest, I know that they said what to do, and I still don't really get it. Um. Oh, okay. Press the right stick until launch the net. Right. There's a monkey in the pool. Okay. Yeah, this is like the first game that they made using both analog sticks, and it really, it pro I mean, it probably shows. I say it really shows, like, I, I, I don't think it really shows, like, it's still good as far as I can tell. I don't know, they, they expect you to, like, click in the right stick to dive, and, like, hold it down, but then they also say to use the right, the, well, sorry, wait, the, the, Click in the left stick and then use the right stick. But you don't have to use the right stick to dive, but it's said using the right stick to dive. I'm very confused. I swear it said that you have to use the right stick to like go up and down. I'm just like making that up. Oh, this dude has a nose! Ayo! Is the exit you passed. Don't forget that you can swim fast by pressing the R1 button. You can use the one at any time in the water. Have fun. Okay. Yeah, this is this is cute. This is a cute little game. I uh, oh. Uh, get wet. I don't know if you could fully see that on the screen, but like it, it I got an achievement that said "get wet," and like, mm, uh, okay. Very right, then, sure. Whatever you say. Do your best. Do my best. Uh. What? Oh. You can dive by pushing the left stick but watch your oxygen. Yeah, 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 okay. I can understand this. Alright. It's really funny hearing, like, uh, British voice acting in, like. Oh, shit. British voice acting in, like, 
uh, kind of like old video games, because like it wasn't really a big thing at the time. So I feel like a lot of the voice actors that they get would just be like from like kids' shows. So playing this game it just sounds like it, it's like something that would air on like CBBS, you know, like some UK Kids Network. Just from it, it doesn't help that they're like. Wait, I, I was gonna say child voice actors, they're not really child- they're, they're voice acting children, I don't think they are actually children that are voice acting. If that makes sense, like... I don't know. I didn't read the tutorial, I'm a little bit dumb. If you jump on- uh, if you jump up onto a tree, you can climb up and down using the left stick. Oh. You try the two-step jump. What? Two-step jump, you'll reach higher places. Oh. Oh, it's just a double jump. Okay. Uh, well, that's not it. Um. Yeah, this is like I, I I I can appreciate this. This is very like simple. It's very neat. Um, I can't, wow, I couldn't see that. Cool camera controls for a PS1 game. Uh. Why? Okay. It's just I, the noise that you make when you get hit is a little bit. Um, it's certainly a noise. Your health is biscuits, by the way. Or whatever that is, it looks like biscuits. I honestly can't imagine like being American and calling them something other than biscuits. Like genuinely, uh why is it? okay. <laughs> it's it's like it's so weird to me that like people look at something that doesn't have like chocolate chips in it and they say, oh yes, that is a cookie. It's like no, like, the, like the, that's not like that's that's not it at all. Like all two buttons use the movable. Oh, I see. Oh, that's some that is some PSP shit. If you're pressing the L1 button, the camera will move behind you. Okay. Oh, oh my God, it's not okay. Wait, I thought it was like regular camera controls, but yeah, it was a first-person camera, which. I already knew this. I don't know why I wasn't like expecting that. I I, I already did that earlier. I did. <laughs> um. But like I um. I guess I have to go around maybe. No. I don't even know. Oh god. I'm not really sure what to do. Oh. No. Oh, what? You can swing the time with the right stick while undercover, sneak up- oh. What, what button was it? Um... Oh, the D-pad controls the camera. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Um... I don't really know... I don't know what they said. I'm not really sure what they said. Um... This is like the Mario Galaxy thing. Are you like holding the tall shell and it like makes you go fast? Like when we're in war? It reminds me a lot of that. Um. Oh, okay. Um. This is certainly a game, alright. It, it's definitely. Something that I'm playing. Uh, nope. There was another one. I don't know where it's actually gone. Like, I know I thought. Um, 
Okay, but like actually, where is it? Then? I saw it like run away. Like, where is it? Is it just over here again? Is it in the water? Because it definitely went in the water. But then it like jumped back up again, right? So I don't even know. Oh god, how did that happen? What's this? Uh, okay, alright. Uh... See, like, I'm kind of unsure about, like, what, um... What, uh... Um, well, I'm unsure of, like, why this next monkey is. Like, I don't see it. I saw it. I don't see it now. I was meant to sneak up on it, but I didn't know how to do that because I accidentally skipped the text box to tell you. Oh shit, it's right there. Oh no, wait. Nice. <laughs> I really do just go in circles. Looking for one thing. But like, okay, okay. Before, before we move on though, uh... I just want to say that the settings for these, right? So you can rewind, which is messed up and I don't like that. Uh, but the settings for like the, the visuals, so like it's a uh, retro classic and modern, that's horrible. Uh, but yeah, video aspect ratio, right? So native resolution 1 to 1, 4 by 3 for 16 by 10. 4x3 for 16 by 9 square pixels and wide zoom stretched. So, okay, so native resolution, right? It is tiny. It is so small. It's absolutely teensy weensy. And like, yeah, it's 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 the original resolution, but it also looks horrible. Uh oh. It's like, alright, like, you, you, you know, like, I don't know why anyone would ever play it like this, but it, it's it's definitely an option. Uh, oh wait, not that, uh, so, video aspect ratio, so, one to one as well, which is, I, uh, I mean, for some games, maybe, but a lot of games weren't designed with, like, this layout in mind. With like one to one pixels in mind, like it's it's actually something that bothers me. Like I see a lot of um, I see a lot of playthroughs of like Super Nintendo games where they use the one to one pixels, and it only actually looks good for like some games because they they were never like intended to look like that. Technically, oh that's wait if you if you're looking on here, it, why why, but like why though. Why would you why would you want it to look like that? I guess maybe some PS1 games had that aspect ratio, because I mean I don't know, but like, okay. And then there's uh square pixels. Which is Okay, that's not terrible. That's not the worst thing ever. I think it, this is the I don't know, isn't this just the same thing as one-to-one? -one? I don't even know. Uh, and then there's wide zoom, which uh, obviously is going to look absolutely amazing. Only the best. Wowie. It sure does look so good. Step onto the switch to save the game and check out the monkey data. The other rooms of uh, the training space and mini game corner, you should try them out. It's, it's so, it's so good. Playing, playing games like this is so amazing. I love when they give you the option to do this, even though no one is ever going to do this. It's so neat. Safe. It's so cool. It's, it's so cool. Okay, uh, no. I'm gonna, uh... Oh my god, suddenly it's really, really quiet because the game is so loud. I think I'm gonna keep it turned down though, just because I, I don't know how loud these are. But okay, um... 
So there's that, right? That's a PS1 game. And now here's a PSP game. Which is uh, Loco Roco Midnight Carnival, which they they remastered uh, Loco Roco 1 and 2 for the PS4, but they didn't do Midnight Carnival. So I guess to like make up for that, they released this, which is just emulating the original version. Which like, like, like that's, that's not really like a problem, like I don't mind that. It's better than nothing. But, I don't know, but yeah, this is PSP emulation on the PS4, which they, they've never actually, like, before this, there hasn't been, like, official PSP emulation from Sony, I don't think. Actually, I, don't, I mean, the PS Vita kind of had it, but I don't know if that was, like, emulation or if that was just, like, native. You could definitely play PSP games on the PSP, but that might have just been like the original hardware or something. I have no idea. But okay, like okay. This looks a little bit better that it's upscaled. Like, like this just looks like it's HD. This doesn't even look like a PSP game. Like if you told me that this was like a HD version of the game, I would believe you. But then there's also like some assets that are kind of blurry. Like sometimes it kind of just varies, which is really weird. Like the characters look fine, but then it's like the logo comes in and it's blurry and it's like, oh, okay. But alright. Um I also actually already started playing this game, but I'm gonna do a new save fight. What? Wow, it's showing me a gameplay demo even though I didn't even stop playing it again. Okay, cool. Wait, even though I did, it, like, I was already, like, what? I was pressing buttons already, what? Uh, whatever, you save file. Because I, uh, we love to make trouble. Uh, because I, I think I already played it off stream, but for the stream I'll just start a new save file. But then, like, Carnival begins. Just, you know, just to, like, demonstrate. Uh, we're off to a world of wonder. I can skip the demo. It does say that I can skip the demo, but I'm not going to, because that would be silly. But yeah, this game's pretty good. I haven't played any other local Roku games on stream. And I really need to do that at some point, because they are amazing. I haven't played uh, Loco Roco 2, but I have played the first one. And that was like an excellent time. Like, I really enjoyed that. Uh, so, okay. Okay. So that's the problem, right? I don't know, I, I don't know if you call it that, it's just then... Uh, it might happen again, but there's a little bit, there's a little bit of stuttering. Um, so wait, okay, so all the characters have like different music, so it's this character and then like, what, like... Okay. I don't know. I think I just go with this one because it has like the best music. Oh, this is the blue one. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, that, yeah, the, uh, okay. Um, oh, this music is also pretty good, I don't know. It, all the music is really good, but obviously there's like preferences and stuff, I don't know, whatever. I'll just play this, like, the yellow one, because that's like the main one. But, oh, oh, what was that noise? Booey booey, we, we made a playland. See how far you can go. Play them all or I won't let you go back. Okay. Um, this is also like... The whole thing with this game actually is that it's like a harder version of Loco Roco. Uh, which is why it's like not like a mainline game technically, it's kind of like... They made like an expansion and just sort of like released it as like its own thing. And it's just like a set of like hard levels. Uh, Bui Bui, this is our playland. We get that thing from Loco Roco. Guide the Loco Roco to the goal. Start. I'm like, okay, like, I, you know, alright. Look, look, Roku, you know, like, plays fine. Oh, hi, Leo. 
and playing local Roco emulated on the PS4. Because they, they released this for some reason. Wait, wasn't it like late for you? Like, what, what's, what's going on? I know you're on like VC just now, but like, what, what's going on? What's, what's happening? It's nearly 4 a.m. for you, oh. Uh, yeah. It's the weekend, oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, this game is really good though, like, I, play, I played it on my PSP. I had it on my PSP, which is why I have it now, because, like, otherwise I would have had to buy it. Right? Um, because I had it already, it's like, oh, okay. It looks very silly, it is very silly. Uh, it's also, I swear, like, I remember this being, like, like, someone said at one point that it's, like, the rarest PSP game or something. Which, like, oh, oh, what was that? Oh, what was that fun noise? Uh, I swear I remember someone saying that this game is, like, the rarest PSP game, but it's also, like, only a digital title, so unless they were talking about, like, a physical release of it that's really rare, like, I don't think this is actually... I don't think this is actually, like, a rare game, but I don't know. Um, also, yeah, it, it, I find it really interesting, uh, the PSP had its own, like, save, like, menu. It was, like, a system menu, and they've replaced that in this with just the PS4 system menu, which is interesting. This literally only means something if you played on the PSP, which I, I you know, like, all of, like, ten people in the world did, including me. It's really funny, because, like, I remember the PSP being like, oh, like, this is, like, a big deal. And then, like, years later, you hear people talking about how, like, obscure it is, or whatever. Try boinking all the way to the goal. Start. Why do they just say start? Um... Yeah, like, the PSP, just in general, it's like, it's not like the most obscure things, people know what it is, right? But then it's like, you talk to people about it, and like, no one knows any of the games that were on it. Which is part of the problem with this whole, like, service that they're doing. With, like, PSP games that are emulated, because it's like, there's like, five of them, right? That aren't, like, being, like, remastered, or, like, re-released already. Like, if you ask most people, it's like, oh, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, which is getting a remaster on, like, the Switch and stuff later this year. Or it's like, I don't know, like, GCA Liberty City Stories, which I played on stream. That game is weird. Um, you always get the PSP confused with PSP. That is also another thing, yeah. Um, the PSP was even more obscure because nobody had one. Like, you can at least say that some people had a PSP, but with the PSP, it's like, nope. Um, I will say though, like, I had a PSP as a kid. I've probably- I've talked about it like, a hundred times. The first game that I ever streamed was Little Big Planet for the PSP. Um... Remember someone bringing a PSP as a school? That person is based. Yeah, the, the PSP and PSV are, like, really cool functionally, especially if you're, like, a fan of, like, old PlayStation games, because both of them let you play PS1 games. And they also have, like, cool, like, stuff on them. Like, a lot of the original games are really good. And, like, unfortunately not very talked about, which, the, you know, this, this service isn't really doing much for that, because they're not really advertising it. Um, and the emulation also kind of stinks, as we have seen, kind of. So the, sorry if the game's a little bit quiet. Oh, what was that cool noise? Ooh, ooh, mamma mia! But yeah, uh, I will save. I will save the game. That takes care of the basics. Uses to get extra practice. 
Okay. I'll, just, I'll, do, I'll do like one more level. And then we'll move on to um, Echo Chrome, since we're on the topic of like the PSP emulation being pretty bad. Yeah. This game's just interesting because it's just like. I've, se I've seen like reviews of this game saying that it's bad because it's like hard and like Local Roco wasn't designed to be hard, it was designed to kind of be like simple ish. But it's, it, it's like not. Well, okay, it's not that it's designed to be hard, but it's designed to be more like a platformer, which Loco Roco kind of isn't. Um, which is why it's so, like, difficult. What do you mean? I'm not playing games because they're obscure, I'm playing games because they just released... This technically just released, like, a month ago, right? I can still say that this is new. So whatever, I'm literally playing Detroit Become Human after this, which is like, not as obscure. But what? Leave me alone. Oh. Oh, cool. It came out years ago? It came out like four years ago. It's it's not that old. It's... it's the, the... Am I so out of touch? No, it's the children that are wrong. No, I don't know, that's not like, I don't know, that's not a valid argument though, because there are plenty of like, people that play obscure games. I'm not out of touch. No, 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 leave me alone. No. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'm good, I'm, you know, I'm decent. But like, okay, right. Oh. Oh, cool noise. Um, I, I'm terrified for, like, if they import more, like, intensive games to this, like, there was, like, a Monster Hunter game on the PSP, which they probably wouldn't put- Oh, what was that cool noise? Uh, you go down to the next area. This prize is for you. A booey booey screw. Oh, by the way, no, uh, um, um, uh, you may have noticed that the phone that just showed up. Oh, what? The, like, PSP system phone that you see in some PSP games and also in this and in, like, the system menu for that. It's the font that I use for like the chat and everything. Baba Booey. Oh, I'm running out of time. Oh no. I'm out of touch and I'm out of time. <laughs> okay. Um. But okay, things will get a little bit harder now. Uh oh. Oh. New minigame open. Okay, 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 well. Oh. The nice menu lag, by the way, did you see that? That's so cool. But yeah, there's also settings, there's also display settings for this, for the PSP emulation. And you'll never guess what they did. You'll never guess what they fucking did. So, native resolution, alright, which firstly, this is not the native resolution. This is like upscale to HD. Or like, whatever, right? Okay, like, whatever, like, maybe, you know, whatever, native resolution, right? 4 by 3. Four by three for a PSP game, a system which like didn't have any games in four by three. Like it like squishes it, and like no games on the PSP were like like this. Like I like I genuinely don't get it. It like cool that the saying is there, I guess. Like okay. Before by through, it's the, 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 the shut up. 
It's when it's like squished like that. Like, okay, square pixels, like what? That is not. What, what is this? And like one to one. Like, okay. What? What? What is this one to one to? What is, what, what is the ratio here? What? What is, what's going on? So you, so you might have noticed, right? You might have noticed that the problem is that the one to one ratio. Well, okay. Well, it's the one to one ratio. Like, fair, fair enough. Okay. But the thing is, right? The native resolution is the only one that actually works for a PSP game. And then everything else, you can tell they just like ported the settings over from the PS1 emulator. Like the visual presets, like alright, modern, retro, classic. For a system that came out like 10 years ago. And it puts scan lines over it. Because yeah, the PSP had scan lines. Everyone knows that the PSP had scan lines. Like, okay, default? Like, what, what does it even do? What does- what actually does that do? Does that just like lower it to like the regular- like, what does that do? No, because it's still in like HD. No one knows if the PS- this isn't the PS1 though, this is the PSP. This is a PSP game. This isn't the PS1. Also, there's literally no visual difference. By the way, like default and modern are the same thing. I think. You meant PSP, yeah, okay, but like, it didn't have scan lines, so, so like, why is the option there, and like, why are there, like, sounds for the- I- okay, no, 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 like, Leo, like, you're, you're not really understanding what, what I'm saying here, right? It's not the fact that it's, like, a weird thing, like, oh, like, that's so strange. It's the fact that they didn't give a shit. It's the fact that they didn't really, like, care enough to, like, even, like, check that. And they were making this like emulation for these games. Like they were lazy about it. It's not surprising. Yeah, yeah, it really isn't. And like, okay, like, uh, uh, hear me out, right? Like, here's another PSP game. Four other people. Uh, listen, uh, listen. Okay, listen. <laughs> Shush. Okay, I care about it. This is for me. This is something that they made for me. <laughs> they only made this for me. Like, what are you talking about? Like, okay, like, you know, like, this, this game is fine, like, I like this game, you know, it's, it's a good... Leo, why are you, like, counting down? But, like, okay, so, right, so you might be wondering, right, why is this so important? Like, the, you know, the menus, you know, it's like freeform, you know, Atelier, Canvas, whatever. You go into Atelier, 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 I don't, I don't know how, how it's pronounced, right? You go through the menu, you might be noticing some audio static. You might, be, you might be noticing some audio issues, right? It's like, okay, that doesn't sound so bad. Oh, what's that? Oh, what is that? What, what is this? Oh, what is that? Oh no. I gee, gee, I wonder what that is. I wonder that I wonder what that could be. It's the sound of Sony not giving a shit. Because only one person will buy these, and it's me. I think the like I mean really is the only issue really is that this is the thing that they're using to like promote their uh, their subscription service. Like, otherwise I wouldn't be, like, so annoyed about it. Also, by the way, the this kind of covers up the chat, so I'm just gonna, like, shrink it a little bit. But <laughs> this is only for the Riley who we have in a little Truman Show, like, enclosure. What are you on about? <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Good luck. But yeah, this game's good, though. I have it, I have it on my PSP, as usual. Oops. What was that? Oh. I forget how this game works a lot of the time. I haven't played it in a bit. But it's it's pretty decent. It's pretty good. It has good music. I think that's the Oops. big reason why I like it. I leave. 
Okay, I don't know. Look, this is fine. Like, I'm okay with this. In general, it's like, it's not really, like, that big of a problem. I think it's just, like... The thing with it is that it's, like... Just lazy. Like, you can tell that, like, whoever they hired for this just didn't really, like, put too much effort in. And, like, they always do this. For, like... Emulation of, like, old PlayStation games. It's like they did it with like the PlayStation Classic as well, right? I think they did PS2 games on the PS4, which were not that bad. Oh, right. Let's we'll just do that. This is a puzzle game, but you have to like figure out what you're doing. Uh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god. Oh, did you hear that cool noise? Did you hear that really cool noise? <laughs> yeah, okay, I don't know. This is a good game, though. I, I, I want to get more uh, PSP games on here, but they unfortunately haven't really released many that I'm interested in buying. Uh, it's like, I, I don't know, like, I, I really... Uh, I'm, like, I don't know, it's like... Literally just Loco Roco and, uh, and like Echo Chrome. And then there's like Echo Shift, right? We looked at these earlier, there's Echo Shift, there's a uh, No Heroes Allowed. It's like stuff that I've just never heard of. Uh, wait, hold on a second. It's just stuff that I've never heard of. It's like, okay, like, yeah, like the PSP games at least. Just games that I have no interest in playing. Which is just really funny, because it's a console that I care about as well, so, like, uh, um, But the rest of these on PSP games, these are, these are, like, PS1 games. Like, I don't know, they have Toy Story 2, they're actually about to put Toy Story 3 from the PSP on here, which is such, like, a specific thing. Because I thought that, like, everyone forgot about it, for, forgot about this game. Uh, not this one. The, it, like, people, people like this one enough that it makes sense, but then it's like, Toy Story 3 for the PSP. It just makes no sense to me. Because that's just like that's just like some like shovelware. Like they're putting it on here for no reason other than they're able to. I, I don't know. But it's really funny though, because like I had it as a kid, so it's still something that like means something to me and it's something that I'd actually probably play. So it's just interesting that they're doing that. I don't know, uh, but yeah, uh, Toy Story 2 is on here, as well, uh, I'm gonna move over to my 4x3 thing. Do PS1 games just take a while to load up? What is this? Is it, like, this happened with, with Ape Escape as well, where it's like, it takes like, like, uh, like 10 seconds, or whatever. That's, that's a little bit weird. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to turn this down. Oh my god. <laughs> what was that? Exhibition. Oh my god, no. Wait, is that just. It, is the FNV bad? Or is it like lagging? Just this. I can't tell if that's just the FNV being like. Like the F like the actual like video itself is bad, or if it's literally like the emulation of it is bad. I guess not because this one is fine. Like you know, like the FNV, the the, th the thingy. <laughs> Walter Disney. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, uh, uh. It moves! Oh my god, I love how compressed it is. It is coming! It is, it is coming! <laughs> um... Yeah, I could've, I could've said something that This is, it's, it's like a base boost. This feels like a meme. This feels like one of those like base boosted memes. What, what is this? Holy shit. Okay, okay, oh, oh, there they are. Oh, okay. Don't ask me why I got this, by the way. I, I think I had it, like, 
I, I bought it on the PlayStation Store like ages ago. Game audio is a bit loud, so. Oh, I'm. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, DMCA, I think. A little bit. I don't know, kinda. Uh, DMCA. It's like the. Ah, DMCA. I can't play this game. No. Copyright and stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get sued by Disney. Oh my god. I don't know, I think for the most part this game is like copyright free. It's just like cutscenes and like music. The, I'm assuming it's just the menu music. But then the rest of the game is like fine. I don't know. Hey, this doesn't feel awful actually. For like a PS1 game. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, I'm. Uh, Cool, cool, cool layering. Look at, look at that. Oh, yes. Yes, the stand in front of the chair. He what? Wait, what, what does he do? Can I use the analog stuff for this? Oh, I can. Oh, okay. I feel like it's really weird. I feel like whenever I play like a PSP game, a PS1 game, I mean, it's like weird when it uses the analog stick for something that actually makes sense with the analog stick. Uh, if you see the push icon, you can run into the object and push it. Okay. Okay. Well, oh, right. So the push icon, so like... R1, I think? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, this game's really weird, because like, a lot of people, like, I've seen like a lot of like, YouTubers and stuff say that this game is like a classic, like it's so good. But I think it's literally, it's like... It's like the same things people saying about like the SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom was good. It's like yeah, like it's not like a bad game, but you're literally only saying that it's really good because you grew up playing it. Right? Like it's like just an average platformer made to like tie in with a movie. But you know, it's really good because I played it as a kid, so it must be good. And the annoying thing is that like. I had that with the Toy Story 3 game for PSP. Which, oddly enough, is about to come out. Riley never plays a game for nostalgia. Well, you know. You know. Yeah, you know. Oh, well. It's just like other people's nostalgia. It's like, it, it's, it's hard to relate to, you know. But then at the same time I say that, but then like I find myself playing a lot of games because I hear about people having nostalgia for them. Like, like, uh, I don't know, I played Mario 64, not on stream, but like on my own. Because a lot of people say like, oh my god, this game's amazing, this game's so good. It's the same thing with a lot of just games that you hear about on like the internet. It's like, oh my god, Banjo-Kazooie was a masterpiece. It's like, no, not really, it was a really well-made game. But it wasn't like, the second coming of Christ or anything, like, what? Is, uh, I don't know, there's no camera controls, I don't know. Oh! Oh, Buzz, Light, yeah, Tim Allen, my favorite. Make some coins here, Buzz. What is this guy talking about? No time oh. to lose. Oh my god, okay. Buzzy boy. Um, I will give you a piece of planet token. Riley recharge challenge? Wait, what? What did you say of worth? I, you said hello, Riley. Um, that's probably a good time to mention as well. I am actually like really nostalgic for um, the movie Toy Story 2. Like, I had it on DVD a lot as I could, and I, I, I watched it on DVD a lot as I could. I didn't have it a lot, but it doesn't even make any sense. What did tell you? Shut up! Um, yeah, I, I used to watch Toy Story 2 a lot as I could. Like, it's a really good movie. So, like, it's, it's funny, because, like, I have nostalgia for the movie, but I've never played this game before. This game is just like an absolute like mystery. You just has to chat with me. Well, that's. I know you're my boyfriend, boy. Come on, that's that's quite gay. How do I move fast? What is there a way to move faster than this? Excuse me.
Um, I'm in third place, apparently. What? Um, what? I'm so confused. Is there like a one button? It, not really. No, I'm, I'm pressing like every button. There isn't really a one button. I don't understand what the number at the top means. If it's not like my ranking, but what is that? Um. What? I'm rather confused by the current events that are transpiring. What? Very right, cool, good for you. You have collected a token, keep on playing. Very. It's been me. They, what, it, I know things. I know that this is a game that is on the play, place to station. And it features Timothy Allen of Home Improvement fame. Oh. Okay, listen, alright, listen, there are coins like right there. What? Buzzy Boy, 50 coins. How many coins do I have? Buzzy Boy! <laughs> okay. Alright, okay, oh, camera mode? Passive camera. The volume control. What's the smudge box to GB? <laughs> the exchange rate? I don't know. Exchange rates are kind of going down the show right now. Uh, I think one smudge box is like 0.0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
Yeah, I bet Samal does call in peace. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I was gonna play some more, but like, these two are like, actually good games. That, well, I mean, Ape Escape is actually good as well, but like, I, like, my point has been proven, essentially. Like, I don't need to play these two to like, prove to you what this emulation is all about, because it's, 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 you know, we need to change the game on Switch, yeah. I mean, I don't know, my, my, my plan was that I was just going to use Ape Escape for like the entire segment, but I'm also about to move on to Detroit, which is a different segment, technically, so I am going to change it, like, just now. So, yeah, the BRB, I will be back with Detroit. Be be become human. Detroit become rightly. <laughs>